for the first layer, I use manganese blue hue mixed with white for the sky. For the second layer, I applied phthalo blue and white, but I wasn't satisfied with the outcome. In the end, I put in some manganese blue hue and white again and I liked it much more. I miss recording the cloud painting process Essentially, I apply medium and cool grays at the base, then layer white on top. In previous paintings, the ocean appeared too blue and cold. This time, I used various blue mixed with plenty of gray. As always, I aim to make the ocean at the horizon look darker than the rest. I feel like the ocean color seems good to me. It's not too cold, but it's also not too warm. Before, when painting rocks and clips, I made the mistakes of using light color too soon. This time, I took my time to apply the darkest shades on the clips first. Then I gradually filled in lighter shades without blending them. Only after applying on the colors did I start to blend them together. I followed the same approach for the smaller clips. Getting the values right is crucial here. The big clip is shaded and has darker values while the smaller clips are in direct sunlight and have lighter values. On the faraway mountain range, I added light gray to the lower half of the mountains to create the illusion of distance. with red and alizarin permanent thin with paint thinner to paint the large bottom canvas area using complementary colors for shading avoids the overly dark look that comes from mixing with black
added some texture to the ocean to avoid looking too uniform. I aim to complete the ocean section before transitioning to the flower field. a fan brush to apply a dark green shade first followed by lighter green shade Then, I added yellow on top using the same brush. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Here, I use light gray to paint lights, making it look like there are small grass or straw bits catching the light. a fan brush with various greens and cadmium lemon to fill in another area. stems and leaves of the white flowers to the bottom section. I painted the white flowers in the near distance using mostly cadmium lemon. I opted for bright yellow because these flowers are in direct sunlight. I painted the distant white flowers smaller using the same cadmium lemon color.
the lower white flowers are smaller and darker because they were hidden in the bush. Let's have a look at the finished painting. 